This is Mayflower Street, I believe. And this is the direction towards the uh, remainder of, this will take you to Thaddeus Chandler, Lansing Bennett, and the Western Duxbury properties and the way towards Pembroke. But that isn't complete yet, it's still under negotiation. Here's the uh, trailhead indication. Here's the trail. Now we'll follow the Bay Circuit back to the parking lot and you'll get a sense of how the whole thing works out. And soon after the trail enters Duxbury Bog, you come across the first pond. Pleasant little trail. And more of the old engineering features associated with good cranberry management procedures. Note the old sort of handmade vernacular dock from a fallen tree that's gone into glorious disrepair. And then you shortly come to a fun old boardwalk. Looks like it's been around for a while. So the old boardwalk swale bridge is right on the edge of another Esker system. The Duxbury Bog properties are yet another Esker zone. There's quite a few of them and they're very well marked. Duxbury is fond of making interesting maps for its prize properties. The maps are a fabulous uh, combination of folk art and practical mapping information. So it's the sort of place that makes pretty well sure that you're unlikely to get lost if you're even less attentive than I am. Runs along a pond, very well maintained little trail. Numerous side trails going up the Esker system, readily available. The place is popular too, it seems, I wonder if there's a correlation where if you mark everything, idiot proof the trails, after all I am the proxy idiot. The whole purpose of this is if I don't get lost, then it's good to go for everyone else. If I get lost, then it isn't properly idiot proofed. Get my drift? So, <laughs> here it's abundantly clear all of the best practices of trail indication are in play in some way. And you can roam around here with minimal fuss and next to no worries in a very diverse assortment of potential habitats. The blazes seem to stay put. It's as if the Duxbury kids are a more contented lot and find more interesting ways to amuse themselves than ransacking trails and leaving weird messes. And we've seen quite a few people since arriving, indicating a appreciable degree of participation. So that maybe is the factor. If you, it isn't build it and they'll come, build it right and don't make it a nightmare and they'll come. Who knew? 
Here we are looking back towards the northern entrance area. We've just come around the bend of some fun eskers. And here's our way back to the lot.